Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading. So today's reading, I'm going to be using a new deck of cards, which is called The Soul Truth. So I am going to be using these cards for you today. So let's see what is in store for you and what you need to know. Okay, so we have, from whom can I release my judgment right now? Judgment closes our heart to truth and separates us from love. It binds us to our fear and holds us in shame. On whom you are placing judgment on right now? Is it someone in your life? Is it yourself? Release the shackles, drop their expectations and be grateful for what is. Look at the person you are judging and as if you're looking at a small child, See them learning and growing, falling down and making mistakes. See their desire to be loved and accepted. Add even more grace to open up your heart to this truth. When I lift the judgment from myself and others, I uncover my own truth. I am loved, I am whole, I am limitless and so are they. Am I getting enough rest to restore my energy and fully show up to my life? You are the asset. This body is your vehicle. Notice how your body is feeling, how much sleep you're getting and what you can do to help your body to rest. Take a bath, put on some lavender essential oil, go to bed ridiculously early or give yourself a time out today. Notice your body thanking you. The more I give myself permission to rest, the more I can contribute. Okay, what if it was easy? It doesn't have to be hard. Call in the universe, the stars, the angels, and all their powers to find the solution. Would you take the next step if it was easy? It's time to expect ease. Call in grace and receive guidance. You are supported. There's 10 possible ideals for your soul's current calling. Lean into ease, it's you, you just have to say yes to it. Where can I ask for more help in my life? Until we receive with an open heart, we're never really giving with an open heart. When we attach judgment to receiving help, we knowingly or unknowingly attach judgment to giving help. Today, ask someone for help and receive it with an open heart. I ask for what I want and I am open to receiving it. Okay, so you have what boundaries need to be created or strengthened within my relationships. To create more healthy boundaries, we must first get in tune with our own needs, desires and feelings and believe we are worthy of them. In your relationships, it's essential to know where they end and where you begin. When we separate our energy from others, we gain clarity about what we really want. Then we stop doing things that no longer align with ourselves. 
if you are an empath, you can still be compassionate towards others without taking on their stuff. It is safe to trust that you are not here to fix anyone. I have everything I need within me now, and so do they. I am worthy of my own needs, and I set boundaries based on what's best for me. What is my body telling me right now? Our body speaks to us through physical pain or discomfort. Our body sends messages for us to look more deeply, see the trapped emotions and lurking fears and beliefs that limits you. Listen to your physical body and you will be led to the source of your pain. It's time to get your healing on. Get the book Heal Your Body by Louise L. Hay and find the answers towards which your body is guiding you. What else could mean could this mean? There are always multiple ways to look at every situation. Our first reaction is usually rooted in our fears and limiting beliefs. Look at a situation today by stepping outside of the trigger and ask what else could this mean? Is this something your soul is calling you to learn in this moment? Or is there a pattern that is ready to be broken? Walk in the other person's shoes and see it from their perspective. If it doesn't involve someone else, ask yourself, how is life happening for me right now? What if it isn't true? The thing you would tell yourself right now, the concrete reasons why you think you don't belong, you can't do it, you won't get there, you're not enough, or it's not for you. What if it wasn't true? It's time for your soul chat, close your eyes, put your hands on your heart and ask the wise one within you. What if it isn't true? What else might be possible? What lie do I need to let go of to reach my soul's truth? What am I grateful for right now? Adopt a abundance mindset. Gratitude is the antidote to all of our problems. It is impossible to be fearful and grateful at the same time. Gratitude improves our health, opens our heart and changes our state. The universal law of attraction says that we are to attract into our lives that on which we are focused. Close your eyes, put your hand on your heart and think of three things for which you are grateful for today. Notice the abundance growing within you. Do I believe I am worthy? You are worthy. You are deserving. You are loved. Start seeing the divine beauty within you and go out and claim the life that you have dreamt up. Your crown has been bought and paid for. Put it on your head and wear it. For a big goal or dream, you have to ask yourself, do I feel worthy of this? I am worthy of it all. What am I waiting for? Someone else to do it for me. Are you waiting on someone else before you can take the big leap? What if you were to take life into the hands and forge your own unique path? Put your heart into action and ask yourself what risk can you take to move toward your dreams. Make a decision and do it. No more waiting for others. Do it scared and take the leap. No more thinking, only doing. 
be brave and you will discover what you really need of wild soul strong heart and can't lose the last card then what excuses am i making right now no more waiting there will never be a good enough time the time is now if it's important enough to you you will find a way today make a decision and do it even if you don't feel ready listen to your heart and you will be led okay then taurus so that is your reading if you enjoyed it please like share subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you all next time bye bye